Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I've got um, a collective reading going on here. These two cards were on the floor when I came back to my desk. Um, they were on the floor. So I'm like, okay, that's the divine trying to tell us something. And well, they're trying to tell your person something here. <laughs> I feel anyway this reading is for the collective so just take what resonates right leave the rest behind you guys know the drill and thank you so much everyone for all of your support like seriously you guys thank you so much for everything I really do appreciate it all the likes the subscribes your comments thank you so so much you guys all right so listen I've been picking up on intense energy all day okay now out here we call it a shift I don't the word shift doesn't really make sense to me so I call it a flip okay those who are on the bottom and honestly Cindy G from Tennessee um, a couple of tarot she said this when I first started listening to tarot card readings okay um, when tarot started really resonating with me this was years ago she said those who were on the bottom are are gonna end up on the top okay and those who were on the top are gonna end up on the bottom all right now we're in that time period all right she kind of called it out years and years ago but this is what's happening right now in the month of august we're gonna have two super moons okay and um, we're gonna have the lion's gate portal opening up right in between them all right what that's telling me is the number one the super moon that's coming up on august 1st um uh is called the uh, shoot what is it called again the water the water bringer or something like that um anyway it's it's going to be an emotional time water in tarot stands for emotion okay you're going to be feeling a lot of emotions because you're going to be looking back on everything that you've been put through all of your accomplishments that you've made you know how far you've come okay in the cycle and everything that you've learned and all the heartache and all the betrayal you're going to be reflecting on that okay and it's going to dredge up some emotions but this is so important um for this transition for you because um you're going to be releasing you're going to be purging all of that energy out all of that emotion right all the pain you're going to be getting rid of it possibly for some of you you're going to be crying a lot of tears maybe um thinking about the everything thinking about everything from your past okay that's so you can forgive and release for you can real so you can realize you don't ever want to cry another tear over this stuff again you've been put through it collective and we're all exhausted we're tired we're tired of being treated like like dirt okay um and i feel like you're just going to reach a point where you've had enough you're going to be like that's it that's the last tear i'm going to cry over this i'm now i'm over it you're going to feel very um very very much over it okay um and then that lion gate lion's gate portal hits on um august 8th i believe okay and that's when you start getting your energy back your confidence back your determination your drive okay it kind of kicks into high gear and and with that energy too i feel like all of all of the vibes you've been putting out like the energy that you've been giving to other people right because if you especially if you've been really kind generous giving caring shown unconditional love right um, all of the effort you put into yourself and your healing, right? The good, positive thoughts you give to other people, the prayers that you send out for other people, you know? I, I feel all of that positive energy is going to be coming back to you in the middle of August during this Lionsgate portal. That's going to give you a lot of confidence, a lot of self-assurance, okay? Um, it's going to bring some fun and enjoyment and... Um, enthusiasm into your into your world okay and that's the energy you're going to use to manifest with um towards this uh between the in the middle of the month of august okay and then at the end of august 
there's another super moon and I I'm not an astrologer guys I'm really not um, but I I've, I've been looking into this stuff and I feel I feel in my opinion that last super moon closes everything up we're we're um, we're reflecting on what we've learned and we're closing out cycles here and that portal that Lionsgate portal you're going straight through it okay um, and I feel like that's just the energy that we're in right now okay and they call it a shift but I see it more as a flip right and I feel like you were the underdog you were the one um, who was maybe you know feeling like you were at the bottom of that wheel right the wheel of fortune and now everything is flipping and the people who are on top the ones who hurt you that it seems it appears that they um, may have gotten away with it or they're not getting their karma or you're not getting your justice think again because now it's gonna flip or shift right and those who were on the top are now gonna be on the bottom and those who were on the bottom are now gonna be on the top in receiving mode okay so yeah I feel like um, honestly that's really the feeling I'm getting and then with this with the with the closing out of the cycle at the end of that it's like the portal opens up and you're supposed to go through it and then the door closes behind you not letting anybody else in who didn't do their work who didn't create some kind of change um, I'm also feeling like you know you're allowed to go through this portal because you put in that effort you learned your lessons you allowed the divine to guide you through this okay and you've been through so much and you've come out smelling like roses here um, there's something to that too I feel like you've just graduated and there's roses like I'm seeing somebody having roses thrown at their feet you know and you're scooping them up like a like a figure skater you know what I mean they throw a rose out at the end of her performance and she scoops up the roses and it's she's having like a victory here okay you're being celebrated you get to go through this portal but the ones the people who didn't listen the people who didn't um believe in the messages they were getting they could have treated it like a joke they did whatever they wanted to you know um the, the ones who were supposed to apologize to you but they ended up drinking the cup on their own thinking they could um control the situation maybe okay um and just ignoring everything those people they get left behind i feel like to anybody who um has listened to the messages get to go through the portal and those who didn't have to stay behind this is like the decision that the divine is making here okay and here's that full moon energy right there it's like people have a chance whether they want this cup or not whether they want um the spiritual lessons or not right yeah the ones who were foolish the ones who did whatever they wanted thinking there would be no consequences this is a huge consequence and some of these people are still cracking jokes about it laughing about it treating it like it's like it doesn't mean anything and it really um going through that portal or not that's the difference of whether or not you're going to start a new cycle well you know what i mean you you want to start your new life the best way you can you know but it takes effort these people didn't want to put in the effort okay so what can you show me here yeah see these people they didn't want to listen some people did i feel like some people drank drank down that water right um, drank down the spirituality the lessons and some people refuse to do it so the divine has to make a judgment call here they have to say okay enough is enough there, a decision must be made and we've made our decision you know that's what they're saying and it was all about what's in that cup it's all about the spiritual lessons the spiritual healing um, the messages the using your intuition allowing the divine to guide you your faith okay your faith is in this cup and they're showing people you know it, those who didn't have the faith 
um, they can't go through the portal. <sighs> if they didn't put forth any effort, if they didn't make things right, they can't go. Some of these people are finding out too about this, um, you know, this is, this is whether or not you did your work, right? And they're realizing now, maybe in the nick of time, maybe even too late, that they just can't come back in. But I feel like some people are going to make it through this portal just fine. Those of you who are listening and using your intuition, you're going to make it through just fine. Okay? And you're going to end up coming out of the other side of all of this, having a victory, being celebrated. For some of you who have been guides, leaders, teachers... Um, people are, I'm going to, I'm hearing, you're going to re remember my name, remember, remember, what is that, fame, right, fame, I'm going to live forever, yeah, because you were able to lead other people through toxic situations and heartache, you're opening people's eyes, you're inspiring other people out here if you're an intuitive, if you're putting the messages out there for other people, um, if you're uh, an empath, a healer, a leader, right? If you're a leader, you're going to be highly celebrated here. People are going to remember your name, okay? Um, yeah, they're going to basically, when all is said and done, they're going to see Either they're, either they're going to feel like fools or people are going to be um, having this victory and celebrating and being celebrated, okay? This is the roses, too, that I'm seeing being thrown at your feet. Just like I said, being celebrated, um, accomplished, right? There's going to be fools that are going to leap off this little cliff here. They've been warned. They've been warned. And then there's going to be people who are victorious. It all depends on whether or not you're going to take the, if those who aren't going to take that cup and listen to the messages. Those are the fools. Those who are going to um, take the cup and listen and have faith and follow what the divine wants. Those are the people who are going to be victorious. Okay. I feel like some of you are already building a money tree here. Um, with the direction and instructions of the divine like you're listening to the messages if you're working on a creative project some of you are being led to start some kind of project here show your talent show your abilities it's going to grow you a lot of abundance here okay a lot you can basically manifest if once you make it through this portal I feel like you'll be manifesting a whole new life for yourself. You'll be free. You'll be balanced in your emotions. Okay? You'll be growing a money tree, doing something that you're being spiritually led to do with the Eight of Pentacles. You know? And I feel like it's just going to go up from there. Yes, yeah, spiritually led with the higher font on the bottom of the deck. But, you know, I feel like, too, um, other people have to learn a lesson, right? Yeah, the people are being split into two different groups, the ones who are listening and the ones who aren't. The ones who are walking in faith and putting in the effort into themselves and making the changes where they have to and the ones who aren't, okay? And, the, and I feel like my collective here, you, my listeners, right, um, you're headed towards Ten of Cups energy, wish fulfillment. This has everything to do with um, the direction that people are taking in their lives, okay? That's, that's what this is about. And people, there's some people out there that, like I said, they treated it like a joke, you know, and it's not. It is no joke. This has everything to do with your future. Yeah, and I feel like you, Collective, you've been doing it. You've been putting in the work. You've been doing the work. Okay, you've put in a lot of effort into this. You're about to have your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. This is a wish-fulfilled life. The only thing you don't have right now is a soulmate at your side, but you're happy going it alone because you know the divine is backing you here. 
okay? And I'm just getting the sense, too, with the Temperance Angel and the Hierophant and Justice out here, once this portal closes up at the, like, with the next, with the last supermoon in August, right? Because there's two of them in August. I feel like these people can't come back in. That's it. They had plenty of time to change their life around and do the right thing, okay? They got plenty of messages here. They were warned. They were warned with this little dog chasing them. So everybody's gotten the messages. Everybody has seen um, glimpses of their future, okay? Um, everybody's been judged. I feel like some have, some have passed judgment and some haven't, okay? But I feel like you have. The divine is trying to get you to calmer waters. You may need to forgive and release. You're going to be doing a lot of purging and crying here. Um, going through this portal at the end of, of the water bearer. I think it's called the water bearer moon. Okay. Um, on August 1st. Yeah, it's going to be very emotional. But I feel like you have your spirit guides around you. Um, you've got the divine driving this boat for you, saying, come on, let's go. You've learned all your lessons. You've passed your tests. It's, you've passed judgment. Okay? I feel like you still, though, you need to um, cry it out. Have a good cry, right? So that you can finally, at the end of it, like, I feel like I, I had just said this just a little bit ago. Um at the end of it, you're going to be like, that's it. I've cried my last tear over this. I'm good. I've, I feel better. <laughs> you know, I think I, can, I think I can move forward, right? I think I can move forward. I've cried my last tear. Like, for real, I feel like it's going to be emotional in the beginning of August, okay? But yeah, you're, after that, after that, your head's going to be much clearer, you're going to be able to um, start something new here, okay, with this one pentacle that you've got. You're going to be happy. You're going to feel so much better after you cry this out and get rid of that pain because you can't bring this pain with you into the new portal, okay? And you can be any sign out here, but so far I've got Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got a lot of Virgo here. Um, a whole lot of Virgo. And Libra so far. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be any sign. Yeah, it's time to go on a, on a new journey. It's time to start a new phase in your life here. It's time to choose a new path. Okay, so some of you could be um, getting the messages that the divine is trying to move you to a new location, okay, a, a house move, something like that, or just travel. Look at more travel here. All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? And all of this energy, you know, I usually feel full moon energy for about four days, so I feel like we're going to start feeling that energy of the first super moon um, very soon, within a matter of a couple of days, okay? This is a super moon now, so we're going to feel it really intensely, <laughs> okay? Just so you know. Yeah, all of this, look, at see, and there's that emotion. Um, there's that emotion, revisiting the pain and the things that have happened to you in the past, Okay? So, yes, get ready, and I've just got the chills all over me. <laughs> get ready for an emotional time here in the beginning of August, um, and be prepared for um, a lot of fast movement in your life here, and, um, and a feeling of enthusiasm and power and energy in the middle of August, and then a closing to the cycles for good at the end of August. Okay, yes, yes, because a decision has been made, okay, by the divine, yes, and I feel like as you move through the middle of August, like I said, it's manifestation time, okay, so um, you're, you're going to be feeling so much better, um, 
probably around the second week of August, okay? And that's when you start manifesting other things. And the devil, I'm telling you, they're going to be mad. They're going to be mad that you get to move through the portal, and um, but they're going to be really torturing the people that are left behind, okay? This is the devil here. And the divine is literally closing the door on people who treated this like a joke and treated you like a joke and didn't make things right, okay? So they're being left to the devil collective. They can't, yep, they're out in the cold and they're going to be made to suffer because I'm telling you that big door, that universal door through this portal, once you make it through the portal, that door is going to slam shut behind you and these people cannot come back in. Okay, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> because they, they didn't have a solid foundation, I feel, okay? Everything, it's going to be complete chaos and drama here. And I feel like if anyone wants to come back in, you're not going to let them back in. You're going to be in a really positive, very strong state of mind. Okay, I'm telling you, yeah, I feel like you're going to be healed. You're going to be able to forgive the unforgivable on your own. Um, the divine's going to move you through this portal, okay? All right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? Messages for the collective? Yeah, people are going to be angry. They're going to be mad. Um, but here's the thing. You, yep, and there's the portal. Look at that. Look, see, that's the portal. You're going to be moving through that portal and you're going to be leaving people's lives. You're going to be leaving people behind to suffer their karma with the devil that they chose. Okay, so yeah, they're going to be upset. They're going to be angry. They may want to say something to you to stop you, but they can't. They can't come back in. That door is shut. So, yeah, and they're going to have to have their awakening. Either these people wake up, like, within uh, very soon. That's all I can say, very soon. Or they're going to be living in the dark um, as you move forward for a victory. You could be a cancer. I just had this in a cancer reading earlier today. Like, I've been getting it in every reading I've done. Um, you could be a Cancer, Aquarius, um, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, Aries. Okay. You could be any sign, but this is you moving forward, right? With that full moon energy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, once, once you get through this emotional time with the uh, water bearer moon okay this first super moon you're you're going to be determined to move forward that's going to be like that's the last tear i'm going to cry over this yeah i don't need to cry anymore i don't feel bad anymore i'm enthusiastic for new beginnings okay it's crazy energy, you guys, but it's coming up, and I feel like that's why the divine keeps telling me about this, and it keeps coming up in the readings, is because it's really important that you know about this shift or this flip, okay? So get ready for it. <laughs> anyway, uh, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. This was all like advice, okay? <laughs> um, and feel free to Google um what's happening happening out here astrologically for august feel free to look it up anyway um i hope this helps and resonates and if you like this video please click that like button subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out